Hello guys, so now we shall be discussing regarding the abdominal wall layers and uh, not only abdominal wall layers, how the abdominal wall layers are continuing with the layers of the scrotum. Okay, so we shall look into that. So now let us discuss about the abdominal wall layers and we shall also discuss how these layers are in continuation with the scrotum with the layers of the scrotum so first important thing is first we shall write down the abdominal wall layers and we shall look at the equivalent there okay so first we have got our skin okay just beneath the skin when i cut down the skin i come across the next layer that is called as a superficial layer superficial layer in the sense the superficial fascia okay after that we have got the super Superficial layer. So this superficial layer is comprising of two parts. What are those two parts? It is comprising of two fascias. One is called as a camper's fascia. Another one is called as a scarpa's fascia. One is called as the camper fascia. Another one is called as the scarpa's fascia. Camper fascia and another one is called as a scar pass fascia so these are the two fascias one is called the skin next we have got the camper fascia as well as the scar pass fascia and after that we have got the next important thing that is called as external oblique muscle next important thing is external oblique muscle after external oblique muscle we have got the next one that is called as the internal oblique muscle external oblique muscle and the next one we have got is the internal oblique muscle after the internal oblique muscle we have got the next important one that is called as a transverse abdominalis transverse abdominalis right after the transverse abdominalis we have got something called as a transverse fascia something called as the transverse fascia and finally we have got a parietal peritoneum parietal peritoneum so these are the layers which we basically have right so what are the different layers we have got from out to in outer we have got the skin next we have got our superficial fascia right we have got the skin we have got the superficial fascia which is dividing into two one is called as the outer camper's fascia and the lower inner scarpa's fascia next we have got the external oblique muscle we have got the internal oblique muscle and then we have got the transverse abdominalis so these three are the muscle layers and after that we have got the transverse fascia and the parietal peritoneum so these are the layers which are located in the abdomen okay now when you go down when you go down into the uh, spermatic region i mean into the scrotal region so there these abdominal wall layers are continuing down there okay how are these abdominal wall layers continuing we shall look for example skin in the abdomen continues as skin of the scrotum okay skin in the abdomen continues as the skin of the scrotum continues as skin of scrotum next the superficial layer that is camper fascia as well as scarpa's fascia will continue as dartus muscle dartus muscle of the scrotum okay next external oblique muscle will continue as external spermatic fascia it will continue as what it will continue as external spermatic fascia continues as external spermatic fascia next internal oblique continues as cremastric fascia continues as cremastric fascia and next transverse abdominalis muscle transverse abdominalis muscle does not continue as anything right next but transverse fascia what you can see here it continues as internal spermatic fascia internal spermatic fascia and finally we have got the parietal peritoneum which continues as a tunica vaginalis continues as a tunica vaginalis right so these are the different fascias which we have here 
so the first one it continues as the skin of the scrotum the next one is continues as a datus muscle over here next we have got what we have got the external spermatic fascia next we have got the cremastic fascia over here and finally internal spermatic fascia and we have got the tunica vaginalis so it continues down like this so i want you to remember this because this is very 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 important okay so these are the abdominal wall layers and these are the structures which are continuing into them right so thank you so much for watching my video goodbye